Good morning, everyone here in the church, and good morning, everyone joining us from home. Thank you so much for joining us to give praise to our Lord and Savior. Now, this morning, I'm going to tell you two knock-knock jokes to start my, my kid's message. You ready? All right, here goes the first one. Knock-knock. Who's there? Amish. Amish who? Really? You don't look like a shoe. <laughs> All right, second one. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? Orange. Orange. Orange, you glad this is my last joke? <laughs> All right. I start off with these these funny kids knock knock jokes because today in our gospel reading we hear about God talking about going up to someone's house and knocking on your neighbor's door, and He told this story to His disciples whenever they asked him to teach them how to pray. And this story goes that you go up to your neighbor's door late at night and you ask them for some bread because you have a friend who is over. And because it's late at night, your neighbor says, I'm sorry, I can't right now. I'm already asleep and my kids are already asleep. But you continue to knock and because your friend doesn't want to feel shameful by not giving you anything, your friend decides to still give you some bread. And he told this story because he wanted us and his disciples to always remember that whenever we go to God in prayer and ask him for something, we will receive it. When we seek it, we will find it. And when we knock at God's door through prayer, it will always be open to us. And so a lot of the times in our lives, we might think that we have everything locked down. We're able to do all the tasks that we have going on in our lives, and we don't need help from anyone. And a lot of times that includes God. But with what we heard in the gospel reading today, God always wants you to come to him because he's always readily available for you to ask him for help, and he wants to help you the best he possibly can. And whenever we go to him in prayer, it doesn't have to be out loud. It can just be in your thoughts. Nobody else has to hear it. Nobody else has to know. So hopefully what you learned from the gospel reading today is that God is always there available for you 24-7, no matter what, no matter what you're going through. God just wants you to ask him for help, seek help from him and knock on his door because he'll always be there for you. That's the good news for today. Let's fold our hands now and pray. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus thank, you thank you for teaching the disciples, for teaching the disciples and, us and us how to pray. How to pray. Help, us Help us to remember, to remember that, your door that your door is always open to us. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much.